All right, good. We are on. Peace, everyone. This is Bell Bagai. I'm actually about to change my name to Bell Thanos officially. I forgot to do that today. Um, <laughs> I have Eduo on the line with me. This we're representing from the BAIO. Um, today, our topic is don't put the cart before the horse. Um, and this comes in light of um, how our organization is growing. We have more members. We had a group conference call a couple of nights ago. Um, and there's a lot of questions, a lot of information being shared. Um, but we both realized that a lot of people are, um, or quite, not a lot of people, but people are really excited and they're putting certain topics or, or you know, plans before the actual making the plans to make them happen. So we, we just wanna kind of address that and make sure that, you know, everything happens in the order that it should happen so we can work towards building our nation. All right, Adoa, you can get started. If you wanna add anything, intro is all yours. <laughs> well, I just wanna say this um, again, though, thank you so much for having me on. I do appreciate the invite and just peace to everyone that's listening and anyone that's in the chat. I just want to say uh, peace to all of you guys. But um, yeah, well, I, I think that it's a very exciting time just to see it expand. And, and, and even since I have um, I joined, which was, uh, again, about the beginning, the end of May or beginning of June, it has um, expanded uh, quite a bit since then. And um, it's very exciting. Um, I yeah. feel the energy, you know, it's one of those things where you feel the energy, you know that when people are excited like that, we get to, I don't know, I, I think that we kind of create this um, anticipation where we cannot wait and it's like, we want that here and now uh, type of thing. But um, <laughs> there are a series of steps, I believe, that we would need to take in order to form a, a nationhood, or right. in order to form a, a, a um, LIN is very important. So. Um, yeah, I think I'm really excited to have this conversation with you today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So um, when once people join the Ning site, I always try to push them to join your state chapter, um, join your professional group of interest, because these are the initial steps we want to take, especially joining the state chapter. Um, we want you to communicate with the people in your region. Uh, some states are really big, so you're probably not going to be able to meet with everyone but at least having a Google Hangouts Live um, or via Zoom, whatever app you want to use, which by the way, I need to look into that after you told me today. I really do yeah. look into that Zoom. Um, <laughs> we want people to communicate initially and put the names and faces together um, and get yeah. that going. And then once you meet up, we start making the, the ideas to make the meetups a little bit more regular, um, whether it's weekly, whether you're doing study groups, whatever, to share information. Um, we have right. to get those things down first prior to, you know, deciding what kind of government system we're going to have, how we're going to police ourselves, how, you know, like how it's going to work in Africa. You know, like it's exciting that we, you know, people are thinking about that. We want them. We expect them to think of uh, things like that. But it's just it's not it's a lot more complicated than um, just, you know, thinking that what we say is going to happen is exactly it's going to happen. You know, like anything can happen in the long run. And we just want to prepare ourselves. So that's why meeting together now and getting that started is is the idea that I want people to get into first. I but, agree. I agree. I feel like um, embarking on something this uh, great um, requires that we form relationships. And mm -hmm. so we do have to take time to kind of cultivate that. And, and you made a great point. It's something that everyone, um, all the admin including yourself, emphasize all the time to join the local chapters, you know, and even neighboring chapters as I have also done, you know what I mean? So I'm not just a part of Pennsylvania. I'm reaching out to the tri-state area, um, even um, as far as uh, Maryland and, as, um, and uh, Connecticut, just so that um, I can form those relationships. So we have something in common. We know what, where each other are coming from. And that's how you build those ideas. You know, that's where you come up with substantial you know right and, you know creativity is one of those things because otherwise it if we don't do that it becomes just another social media platform and you don't want to get <laughs> caught up in that you know you want to meet in person so right, right. I, I totally agree 
we get to to chat in and just like you know I don't know just partaking and just clicking likes and everything rather than going towards something that um that actually leads to a result the result that we want and thankfully we have our compass our compass is land infrastructure nationhood everything we do exactly. revolves around that which I love that so as long as we're working towards that then you know for sure everything else will we're trying to get everything else to fall into place. Um, but yeah, so the conference call, what do you think about the conference call the other night? We, we don't have to go into the details of the conversation. I, I really liked it. Everyone is so excited. It's really exciting to see all the, hear the, all those members on there, their locations um, yeah. going on. So I felt the energy. I really, you know, um, I felt the energy. I think about it. We were on a call for a very long time. Yeah. <laughs> think about how long we were on. Um, I felt everyone excitement. I really, really did. And again, it was a, a great example of um, connecting, not convincing. You know, exactly. everybody was on that call was for it. It was exactly. all about, like it they was all about just the application, right? Right. Now we were just vibing on the application of things, but we were all for it. And so I enjoyed the call. Um, I really did. I stayed on until. The last person. <laughs> I, did too. I thought I was like, man, I'm not gonna last. But then when I realized, like, damn, we gotta organize this a little bit more, <laughs> and people, right. are like, yeah. and then people trying to ask questions, and I'm like, oh my god, we gotta get this in order. This is not gonna yeah, work. Yeah. So I was like, okay, let me just stay on and suck it up. But I was supposed to. <laughs> that did not happen because I was on that call. <laughs> so, but, but it was all good. I enjoyed hearing, you know, where people are from and you know what's going on in their life and. Yeah, that was I nice. totally agree. Yeah, and, and Calla shared a lot of information, um, which I appreciate, but it probably kind of adds to people's curiosity a little bit more. He has that appeal to pique people's curiosity when he just shares so much. Um, now, I try oh, to give this disclaimer yeah. like the views and opinion of us individuals. <laughs> and I can say this for Calogenesis, Mr. Holipsism, um, Minister DeWood, <laughs> their, their views and opinions do not necessarily <laughs> represent the views and opinions of the collective organization of the BAIO. So don't yeah. uh, take it as, you know, as the final word. The only final word is land infrastructure, nationhood, building a nation state on the continent of our Af of our ancestors. Um, right. So the, those are the final and all be all things. But um, right. everything else is just very much up for discussion and debate. So yeah, right. I'm gonna say that to the members. But but I'm I'm so proud of our members overall. Like like I said earlier, Kenya members just met up today, had their first meet up. Three people and they they did take oh, pictures oh. like. I asked one of them, I was like, put it, please put it in the photo section of our site. So, yeah. you know, we can, we can see all the yeah. brothers. Together, so, but these, I mean, these are the initial steps we want people yeah. to take. Exactly. And just being pragmatic about things. So the initial steps, of course, is cultivating these relationships on a deeper level. You know, we, I don't know about you, Belle, but I want to, you know, like my neighbor. <laughs> I, wanna, you know, I don't know about you, but I definitely want to, you know, be next to somebody that, I, you know, I like, you know, I want to be cordial at least. So it's one of those things you want to cultivate those relations. We got to be pragmatic about things, about what it takes to get to point Z. You know, you have to go through all other 25 letters, you know what I'm saying, in order to get to that point. So you have to think that way. And sometimes we have to kind of um, put our excitement in check um, and so that we can see those steps, you know? Right. It's really right. important that to get there. But no, right, to cultivate the relationships and then start to think pragmatically about what it takes to create something from scratch, essentially, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think that's hard for a lot of us who are quote unquote, you know, who are in like a quote unquote, a first world situation. We you know we're born right. into certain things already being here. You know, I, the roads are here. I've been taking the subway since I was born. You know, some of those things and certain things have already been in place. So sometimes it's hard to see, you know, they say the forest from the trees um, yeah. in, in that respect. Yeah. yeah. You're absolutely right. We want you. We want people to see the forest for the trees. You got to see the bigger picture. Yes, but yeah, yes. understanding that there's going to be several steps before mm -hmm. you get to that. You know that bigger, 
that bigger, greater, you know, tangible solution. You got to take Definitely. quite a few steps. And we all have to link together in that process too, you know, like mm -hmm. um, knowing that, you know, there's engineers in you know, Colorado or, you know, um, people who are into mechanics in another state and everything. Like we're going to have to get those states linking up first and then forming those ideas before we can actually talk about like, okay, this is what we're going to build. You know, it's right. like, okay, let, let's get you guys connected first. And that's what we're, that's what we're trying to do. That's the whole point of this is get people is to connect. Like we said, we're not convincing, we're connecting people. Right. Like and also think about when you start something from scratch again, let's think about eating, you know, you want to link up to people that are in the agriculture, like every, you have, it, it takes a lot to step back and kind of look at the coding, you know, and, and not right. just see the, the platform, but the, the ones and the zeros and all that good stuff and actually see the pattern to go, okay, these things come first. You know this come you know and, and the, the, the 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 sequence of it all you know there's so many things that goes into that and you know whether or not wherever land that we are irrigation you know exactly. there there there's more people involved than what you think it's not always just the tech people or engineers we need everyone on board to see and to um, develop skills and also use the skills they already have. I mean, agriculture is so important because we have to eat and sustain ourselves, you know? And Absolutely. yes, that's, that's all, You know, people forget about those things. Like, no, the first thing I want to do when I get down is I want to eat something, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> don't think about those things, you know, it's important. You know, I can't think about cars or, you know, right, right, the right. tech stuff. We have to actually go to the basics. And like I said, I totally understand that it's kind of hard to do that, given where we come from. We were right. born into a quote unquote first world situation where it already existed. But if you right. go to a place where it's from scratch that may not have those things, we have to start over again. And if you look at the, the if you look at the progression of most countries, most nations, there's the agriculture, you know, points in time, you, you know, then it comes into the factories, et cetera, et cetera. There's a progression there. So we have to think about all the things, you know, we have to include all of that when, when we have these plans, you know, because right. I, I personally want to make sure <laughs> that I'm fed during this process. You know, <laughs> like I gotta make sure the food is edible, and, you know, like right. that it's not filled with pesticides, and that we can, we can yes. sustain it first. Let's make sure you know, and having the ba our basics to what we need to survive. Um, but you know, no, I completely get what you're, what, understand what you're saying. But yeah, yeah I expect people to be excited about this because I'm excited about this. But and mm -hmm. also keep in mind that it was a bunch of guys on that call, so they always just kind of jump in the gun anyway. Yes. <laughs> no shots fired, <laughs> guys. But it's you always know. technology. Boop, 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 boop. Right, let's go right to it. <laughs> when can I fly my jet over there? You know, <laughs> like hold on, brother. Yeah. Wait you a minute. Know. Run way down. <laughs> Let's get the runway down because it was like a lot of discussion about like um, the political system and everything. And I'm like, OK, so there's so many steps to take first before Prior we to that. Uh, yes. What, yes. What, what we're going to what we're going to do finite, uh, what we're going to do finitely and how things mm -hmm. are going to be, um, who's going to be in power, how we can re how we're going to, you know, assess, get our political parties. What will they be? You know, like those kind of things. Yeah. A lot of detail that goes into that, um, and so that's yeah, what I was before we even get there. Before yeah, we even okay, get there, before, before, before <laughs> we get there, you know. And again, like this is not we're not doing like a biscuit nation, and I say right. that because that's a good like, <laughs> like a microwave nation, like instant nationhood. There you go. Like no, no, no. I say that I like that. Oh. It's so funny because I was who I was talking to one of our members. It's actually I was talking to to Dundada mm -hmm. on a on a text. You know, he was just talking about the show Holup did with the Information Man show, and he's like, he talks so he really is a, a really good at speaking. I was like, he is. Um, he he, just, he can come off some really crass sometimes, but he gets to the point. He's like a bucket of ice water to the face. Right. Uh, so. Which I can, I, I appreciate. So, but you know, it, and I said, you know, from that we did get quite a few more members. Um, but you know, but not, of course, not everybody 
and stuff. And I, and I told them, I was like, there, there's always that group of people who just want stuff already developed. They want to reap the benefits of what someone else's labor of right. someone else's like like they don't and he was like yeah this is this microwave generation mm -hmm. exactly <laughs> and it just got me thinking I was like it's a good term for them they just want instant you know they just want instant change instant solutions instant you know uh, an instant nation like okay where is that what mm -hmm. you guys got you know and it's like oh wait you think you coming in just because exactly. <laughs> like nah what are you, what can you bring to us you know. Exactly. Exactly. Work, so. it, it takes um, a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, it takes a lot, a lot of work, and don't take that for granted. And I mean, it's it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. Like there's going to be a lot of trying efforts, and um, you know, the, you're going to disagree a lot. I'm sure of it. <laughs> like yes. that's going to happen. But it's just it's going to be a test of will, a test yes. of will. Who, who really wants this? Who can sustain this? Who going to put the effort into this because this is going to be like we're talking about generations to come what we're yes. trying to what we're trying to do like so this is not this is no way shape or form going to be easy and and truth be told historically what what has come that was good that came easy you know like it's Definitely. everything that's Definitely. really worth fighting for and worth going for was never easy so it's exactly. like you're just going to have to put in a sweat <laughs> blood and tears and making this happen um, mm -hmm. So, and, and I got that feeling from a lot of our, uh, from a lot of the members on that call that they they're willing to do that. They get it. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. So, so this, and that's I'm like, okay, that's that's so refreshing to know. Like, it wasn't like they didn't understand the concept of land infrastructure nationhood. It wasn't like you know they they just like okay, I'm putting my agenda first. You know, it wasn't anything like that. So, I, I, oh, I just I love our family so much. I'm like, oh, I love our organization. They get it. They really yeah. get it. So, and they yeah. have legitimate questions, and I think they just got caught up in the melee of getting one question answered, and it led to something else, and then something else, and next you know, it's like okay, we're talking about something that is will take years to you know really kind of come to fruition. So yes, I'm glad you put that up because that. To me, that one of the most important parts to this is that um, being pragmatic about it, and when you actually are doing like project management on a huge scale, of course, um, because this, this is a nation we're talking about, but we have to really talk about timelines and really understand what can realistically happen within this time span, you know? Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, when, we, when you think about, like, for instance, the uh, post that you put up regarding Rwanda's uh, uh, future plan. Yeah, for 2040. How, but for 2040. See, think yeah. about it, 2040, how high tech it is. That's yeah. 2040, and look where Rwanda already is. So if you look at the present right. state of Rwanda, who, which already has an infrastructure. Yeah. Um, and, and still, it's how many years off it's still about 25 years away for it to get to the point of what they showed in that um that uh, figure that you put up so right and us I mean, to start from scratch we have to be realistic about timeline and what could really occur within that that space right you have to be honest like okay within 25 years where are we going to be 40 years where are we going to be you know and Right, and again, and like it it's for generations. It's for right. this. It's not just for us, you know. Yeah, We're exactly. not always going to reap the benefits of everything, right? Uh, physically, but our, gen you know, our lineage will definitely reap the benefits. Of yeah, and then about. they'll expand on that. And then to add on that, like you know, you have to break it down further. Like, okay, twenty-five years, this is the goal, but within yeah. that time, within five years, we need to do this. Within yeah. you know, ten years, this needs to happen. You know, another fifty-year <laughs> plan needs to happen on top of that. Um, just to make sure it, we've taken the steps to get to that 25, 30 year plan, um, mm -hmm. to, you know, to making this. And, and a lot can get done. I mean, with technology today, a lot can genuinely get done. Um, but I think what members have to understand is like the nation in and of itself is not just going to like happen as soon as we step foot on the ground. You know, wow. like that, that's not going to be the case. It's going to be groups of us that go there first, build, and it's, it takes years to do this. But I mean, we've been waiting as long as we have. We've been waiting for 400 years already. So it's right. like we, we can wait. <laughs> like we, we can wait and do this. This is just being patient, focusing on what your skills are, meeting with your local state chapters, meeting with those members in person, 
um, you know, mm. like showing your face so we know that you're real, that you're like, you're really, <laughs> yeah. I mean, because right. in the reality with as many members as we have, like, you know, of course you can break down to active members is probably what, like, what, like a hundred or so, maybe less. hundred or so, yeah. Probably, yeah. Yeah, probably less of like really active members are, so, you know, it's like, who's really going to be putting the work in for this, you know? So mm -hmm. I mean, that's where, that's yeah, where that we know that with some people they're lurking because they want to see, just like you mentioned, some people want to re reap the benefits of it already being laid oh, out. Right and, and you always have the people that are a little bit apprehensive. So they want right. to see what you really cooking and up oh, now I'll stick, you know, they always just have a toe in the, in the pool. Yeah. Actually, you, know, you know what I mean? They're yeah, really they're testing like, the waters. Yeah. They're yeah. So. The water, but it's like, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Right here, <laughs> then up until right. you know, a lot more people get in and do something, you know, like which I get it. I'm not even mm -hmm. knocking up for that. I get it, you know, if you're, <laughs> if you're, you know, questioning it. But then, you know, my question is for you, like, what, what, are, like, what's your goal? What do you want out of this? Because we know what we want. We want, you know, land infrastructure nationhood. Right, like, if right. we want our nation state, and the more people that get involved in this, mm -hmm. the more quick, the more likely, and more efficiently, more quickly, this can happen. And so, you know, you have a skill that definitely can help the group. And even if it's, you think it's something small, like, you know, if you think you're just, oh, I'm just a secretary, that can be used. Like, hell, you can help, you know, our admin, you can help organize things because you may have a good eye for organization um, because, you know, a, a lot of people, this is this not easy. A lot of people don't have that. And that can help propel, you know, other steps to be taken. Um, but yeah, so don't, don't take any of that for granted. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you can add that to it. Um, and mm -hmm. It goes towards building a nation that counts. That definitely counts. Um, nothing. I, I totally agree. Like, so, but I, think, you know, I mean, you think about all those intricacies. Like, it's, there's so many things that plays a part in just daily, just in the, our, our daily, our daily lives. We don't think about all those different departments. All that stuff. It plays a part. It plays a part, and it's it's all necessary. And just like you said, someone could be really good at speaking, could be really good at diplomacy, but can't write a lick. And they don't yeah. know how to put it in <laughs> lamest terms, you know. And right. you need that other person to to, to make it concise and and and, and right. Real. So right, I, I totally agree. Part, yeah, exactly why we need you to connect with people. You know, keep, mm -hmm. keep communicating. Let us know what you do. Um, and, you know, if someone is, is connect with people in your state chapter, if there's not someone in the state chapter that can easily click with what you do, there's probably someone in a neighboring state that does. Like, don't take yeah. that for granted. Like, of course, like Hope said, you don't have to just join your state chapter. Like, I, I'm in Alaska. I joined New York, and I'm also joining the state of Washington. Um, right. They probably should join Georgia, too, since I just went there. <laughs> but, like, I join these states because I've traveled to New York. My mom still lives there. So when I go there, I want to meet with those members. Um, and the state of Washington is really, not, I mean, it's far from me, but it's not too difficult for me to get to. It's the mm -hmm. closest contiguous United States to me. So if the usually the connecting flight I have to is usually to Washington. So it's nothing right. to go to um, get there. So I'm like, okay, let me join that state. So if any members in that state want to link up, of course I'm here um, and I'm right. available. Yeah, so it's like do do that if you're interested in another country, definitely join that country chapter. If you're going to be traveling there, because uh, I'm going to we're well, we're both going to Ghana next May. Yay! Um, yeah, chapter, yeah, and it's going to be exciting. Like I want to see people who are actually in Ghana. Like I fully intend to join <laughs> to meet up with the BAIO members, which I gotta discuss with, with Bomani how, how that's going to work out. Because I don't want to mess with his itinerary. You know how he gets. Oh, yeah. You know, don't mess with that man's itinerary, okay? I know. <laughs> he means business. And I we do not want to be on his YouTube with him calling us out, okay? We're going to be good. <laughs> I am <fair laughs> <now. laughs> That's what's up. But, yeah, no, it's, it's it's just really, we want you guys to, you know, take a stepwise process in this. We're excited that you're excited. We're excited for you. Like big things is gonna happen, um, right. and yeah, and don't don't get caught up in the melee of when Kala speaks because 
because it's so easy to get lost in the sauce of whatever he's talking about. And you're like, oh man, that sounds so exciting. And even if you have a question, you're like, well, I don't know about that and stuff. And then just get, it gets spirals into so many other things that really irrelevant to the current, <laughs> to the current, current situation. It's like, all right, let's get back on topic. And so you know, we'll, we'll do, a, you know, more conference calls and stuff. And then hopefully we get more admin and get different opinions. I completely expect that. But no, it's it's yeah. really exciting. I'm so proud of our members with how far they come along. I am too. Like I said, that that energy just proved that it is this definitely possible, right? Right, right. That 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 call, yeah, you just felt it, and everyone was so passionate, and I was like, yes, this is what yeah. we need. You know, this is history in the making, and it's it's exciting to actually be a part of creating something just for us. We've always been yeah. a part of creating something for everyone else. All right. Now, what we do now, we make money for other people. We do things for other people. All right, exactly. Um, don't benefit people that look like us. And so yeah. to form a we, to actually create something that people that look like us can benefit from is just... Right, it's pri like it's priceless. <laughs> it's, it's, priceless. it's priceless. It's, it's priceless. It's definitely... It really, really is. You pass on to generations something to be proud of, something yeah. you know, to give the, the whatever nation we have pride, and like mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it's just gonna motivate people. And then I genuinely believe, and I was telling um, some of our other members this, like once things really get, once the ball really gets rolling, oh my god, it's just gonna, it's gonna have that insanely fast snowball effect. Like initially, it'll just kind of you know start going and slowly grabbing you know a little bit more attention, which I feel like it's doing now. But yeah. as it gets further and further down the hill, like, oh my goodness, like the, yeah. just how quickly it's going to grow. Like how many people are going to be in like, oh my God, they really doing this. Oh, well, hell yeah. If they actually doing something like they okay. actually have solutions, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to like grow into a, in a serious magnitude and have a ripple effect throughout the continent too. Uh, I but, agree. I agree. Like once they see, like okay, African Americans are interested, they're re genuinely interested in building infrastructure here, you know, and empowering us, controlling their economy, and you know, and they, you know, hell, knowing that they don't have to sell out to another country just to get, yeah, I'm pretty sure we are the more de desirable group if they had a choice to who to work with and who to build. And be like, okay, I'd rather build with my own than worry about the Chinese coming in and. You know, take or any other group. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like that's just ridiculous. You know, Chinese, Lebanese, Indian, whatever, whatever. Every non, <laughs> every non African <laughs> that is uh, benefiting um, from our resources and our labor. I totally agree, and I think that it will definitely have that effect. And you just think about. Um, Really, just the, the the ripple effect of all of our um, ancestors, you know, mm -hmm. like Garvey. You know, that's what occurs. You know, that's yeah. what occurs. That you know, it, it it that's how it continues to live on. And it's one of the things that Paula and uh, Minister uh, Dawu and um, uh, Holif has mentioned. How I'm sorry, you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, has has mentioned that there isn't a particular leader, but right, the actions is the actions and what we put into it are the labor, the vision is what is going to continue to propel the movement mm -hmm. far, you know, far beyond us. And so that's but that will spread throughout the continent. When they see something like that, they won't just be looking to Hala Blakala or Minister Dawood or Sandata, mm -hmm. you know. Or Bell, you know, <laughs> or myself, they're gonna be looking yeah. at right Africanstan, right? They're gonna look yeah. at the actual nation, and that is what we want. That yeah. is what we're trying to achieve, you know. Yeah, exactly. I want to draw your attention to that, to the collective group, not just yes. you know, just like you. No, it's like the, what what is this group of you know people doing, and how did they go about it, and how can I join in? How can I help? What skills do I have? That they can, and I guarantee you, it's going to propel people to do like trainings into field that they didn't consider before, whether yes. it's agriculture or you know, what waste management, urban city planning, engineering. Whatever, you know, it's going to be like, oh hell yeah, like let's get this done. 
This is necessary. Right? And you see, I, I forgot about waste management. You see, those things are yeah, extremely yeah. important. Right? That's, really that's really another really one. That's really like, really <laughs> really important part of it. That's to me eating. Right? You <laughs> like, when you I mean, finish my food. Food. Yeah. <laughs> And I say because naturally, of course, because, you know, where I live in Alaska, I tell you how, you know, I have to travel to the villages and what they have and what they don't have. They don't have like a, a waste management system. What? In many places. Yeah, exa- yeah, they don't like uh, even and not even to- I'm talking about like, well, not even like bodily waste. Let's uh, move that out of the equation. That's another <laughs> Um, bathroom. So they use like chamber pots still. So it's and this is you know 21st century. This is crazy. But like they still get regular things. Like you can still go to a store and get like you know box goods or like you know like a box of pasta and you know a gallon of milk and all this stuff. So they don't have a place to throw that away when they're done. There's oh, no. no sanitation system out here, which is, also makes it so much more um, filthy. <laughs> lack of a better term like what they do what i've noticed they do like and they'll have they'll get like four wheelers for their transportation get that shipped out there um via boat or plane um uh-huh. when during, depending on the season well not really by plane not the heavy stuff but usually by by barge the boats they bring like those huge containers filled with supplies um during the summer summer spring months when it's not when the water is just thawed out but what they do is there's like a lot of dilapidated homes and everything is they pick a house where they're going to throw all their trash at. And that's where they throw all their trash. That is no, not, no. <laughs> I'm no. going to take a picture one of these days and show it. It's crazy. Um, Cause I have to travel to the villages in a couple of months. So I know I'm going to see the new, um, which is going to be pretty gross because it gets pretty muddy and a lot of mosquitoes, but uh, yeah. So, it's, but that's, that's their waste management system. That's not a system at all. No, <laughs> Obviously. You need those minds to really think about that because you have places exactly. where they still burn the trash and then that's not good. You know, yeah, everything yeah, cannot exactly. be burned. Oh, no. Exactly. So it's just, it, it, it's all those things that we take for granted and what we don't realize, you know? So it's just right. like, like you said, the things that we deal with every day, like we could wake up and turn on, you know, flip the switch and our light is on. So it's mm-hmm. like, focus on, like, don't take for granted of how you got that light on. Um, sometimes in the winter months when it gets really cold out here, it's not uncommon to get our pipes to be frozen. And this is where my test of will came in and I had to, you know, decide what can I live without? And I realized like, even in a dead of winter, I could live without electricity, but I damn sure can't live without water. So (laughs) when you're calling the the, the water center or calling, you know, like the the city Mm -hmm. manages the the infrastructure here and say like, oh my God, my pipes are frozen. And then on the line, they're like, well, do you have a heat gun? (laughs) I'm like, no. Like I got you take torches to their pipes. Yeah, I've torches. known people oh to God. do this people... and just hold it there. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do. Have... Take a torch. So it's like, okay, I got to go to the hardware store, get a heat. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, boy, what the hell? And stuff. So, and be out there after a long day of work, sitting there trying to thaw out, figure out which, and the, the pipes that's frozen is not like the obvious um section where you would think there's like a block of ice formed around it like that's not mm-hmm. it at all no it's like you literally gotta touch it and feel which part is the coldest because it's frozen on the inside it's like a, mm-hmm. a block of ice on the inside not on the outside so i'm sitting there looking for which section is frozen um and you know thinking assuming that's going to be the part that's outside because where i'm at all of our plumbing is um basically above ground because uh, under the ground we have a layer of permafrost that changes when the temperature changes like it either gets thicker or get thinner so therefore the ground itself is not strong for building infrastructure within the ground so there's no building on the ground like there's no basements nothing because it's just layers of ice um oh and these see, that's people... another thing that's another thing too yeah, right yeah, it's, it's, yeah what's on your heart yeah, exactly. Because, What's you know, if you have people like me, we're like, yeah, I'm going to Africa. Okay, let's do this. I want this. I want that. And we're like, oh, we're, we don't build basements. Well, I'm used to having a basement. I'm used to having, <laughs> you know, you have to think of all of those things. Again, because our mindset, we're coming from something totally different. We have to be realistic because we have to consider the land. You know, what type of land we have. The land itself, right. the yes. climate in it, yes. like what 
what's the temperature at different times of year? How hot does it get? How cold does it get? I'm sure you know it pretty much stays pretty um temperate and more in the on the hot side over there, but like over here because it how gets the so rainy season. Yeah, how the rainy, rainy season? How's what? What's your um uh uh system gonna be like to make sure your city doesn't flood? Like you need that, <laughs> and you it doesn't. You know, if you're near water. Right. Yeah, exactly. Any you know. system for electricity. I mean, <laughs> yeah, like it's all these things. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we want people it's to consider so many, yeah. so many details. Like these are the steps first prior to you know us developing our government and you know like our, our schools because you need to build the hard infrastructure before you can set up any system for the soft infrastructure such as schools, hospitals. Mm -hmm. Um, government buildings, you know, homes, all of that. Like you, you got to have the the foundation built first. Um, and oh, peace, born e Allah and Dandada. Dandada, we were just talking about you. So we just brought you up. I was like, hey, brother from Missouri, who <laughs> drove through South Carolina to come to the Atlanta meetup. But yeah, so yeah, the, like those are the things that we really have to consider. Like I was saying over here, because we have like that layer of ice, we don't, we build everything is above ground. So it's basically right. exposed to the, you know, the outdoors exposed to the harsh weather and everything. So when it freezes in the winter, it really freezes. So I have to feel along the pipes, feel which part yeah. is the, you know, the coldest. And then I'm sitting there with a heat gun, <laughs> hoping it thaws out so I can turn on my water. <laughs> Like mm -hmm. that is frustrating, especially after working for like eight, 10, 12 hours, you're tired, you just want to go home to the shower and it's like, oh, hell no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Oh, peace, bed and mommy. I really got to get you on this show. Girl. Hi, I, I, I totally agree. We think of, even about the water. We back to that besides using the dam system for electricity, but. We have yeah, to think about water, the water for us to drink, right? Yes, so drinking water, right. your water filtration system. Creating, right, creating wells we need, you know. I exactly. mean, they're really good at that in, in Ghana. They dig, you know, they a lot of them have their own well uh, watering hole system close mm -hmm. to when their property or something like that. But all these little things we have to think about just right. to, to survive, just to sustain while we build, just as you mentioned, the soft infrastructure, you know, it's, it's right. so many layers and we really have to sit back and be pragmatic about all of these things that we need, the time mm -hmm. in which it would take to achieve it, you know, and what it takes to actually achieve it. You know, it's just so many layers. And, 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 and once we get all that stuff, yes, we will have, you know, all the, the high tech stuff, that, you know, once right? we get those things out, we will have the jet, the planes, you know, and yeah. railways and yeah, we I don't know whatever about stuff. Our, <laughs> right, our politics are this. And I mean, there's some things that, of course, is going to be, you know, maybe like a rough sketch or, you know, yeah. rough discussion on how we want it to go. Um, but yeah. that can be, that can be, um, real that can be different in in real life you know like we're going to be caught up in so many other things which is which is fine we're just going to have to prioritize and this is where you have different groups of people focusing on those different aspects so if someone is into particularly foreign affairs um they may not necessarily be or i mean they may be i was going to say they may not be on the continent first but they may be as well but like say someone's into um a particular part of government and we yeah. haven't developed that government yet and we're not you know in the process of negotiating how we're going to separate ourselves or become our own nation state um mm -hmm. then they may not necessarily they may not be necessary on the continent at first right. or you know, won't have like you know an, an actual agenda or job to do where they can focus on that alone I mean, maybe if we get it separated into different factions, that's, you know, another discussion. But it's not like we're going to walk over there and say, OK, planting our flag, we're Afrikstan and this is just ours. And this is like that's not right. going to happen. So right. if anyone right. thinks that it's just ridiculous. And it, it's crazy because there's people out there who seem to think that. I noticed that in uh, um, the show that uh, Di uh, I was going to say Dinas, but um, Hope did the other day on Information Man show, like someone was like, which country I think y'all taking over? I'm like taking over. I read that. I read that. I was in there. I don't Who's taking I don't, over what? Well, you know, because in the cartoons, that's what they did, you know, or they go into like, <laughs> you know, you know, in 
in the cartoons, they'll even go to Mars and they just plant their flag, boom. You know what I mean? It's, it's not, you know, but I don't, I don't get it either. But it's like, okay, that would be the best way to start a war. That's nice. You yeah, know? right. I'm like, way to start some. <laughs> like no, that's gonna I end mean, real quick. <laughs> Right. And I mean, of course, we have to have the diplomats there as well. You know, exactly. there are some an in initial period there. You will have to have some policies in place. Of course, policy is important. You have to anticipate certain things that would occur. So you have exactly. to have some laws in place. And so, of course, in the beginning, those policies and being um, and, and, and diplomacy is going to be important to talk to um, neighboring governments and the and, and whoever whomever owned the land prior to or wherever, you know, whatever we're negotiating, of course, we want to talk to that government and, and, and come up with some peace treaties or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, there are, there are things that are going to take place before we even step on the exactly. soil. You know, they, I, I, I know for a fact, I wouldn't want to be in a situation where I'm vulnerable. So I, I know for a fact us as a collective would never want to put anyone in a situation where they're vulnerable and not protected by um, some form of government. That's, <laughs> that's right. going to happen regardless. You know what I mean? So, right. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And like, it kills me when people think that. Like, I'm like, oh, it reminds me what Holop says. He's these people. They basically have a one dimensional way of thinking, and it's very true. It's a very superficial way of thinking. It's just like you know, you're assuming like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go over and take over and do this. And it's like no one said that. No one remotely right. even. That, like where you are just pulling this out of your ass just to throw right. salt in the game or just to basically throw the turd in the punch bowl and mess it up for all of us. <laughs> so, but no one said that. And like, like basically the idea is to negotiate, negotiate like other nations are doing now by saying, Hey, like, you, like is China doing it via warfare or just, you know, trade and building relationships and building infrastructure, huh? Right. Like Regardless that's of it. how sneaky you think they are, you know, we may think that they're very, you know, sneaky bastards, you know, but right. regardless, they're sitting they're hand in hand very with diplomatic whatever, way. right, <laughs> whatever like, prime minister or whoever the leader is, right. or, you know, whatever, they're sitting there, they're having these, these, these talks and, uh, you know, Quite frankly, um, almost every nation has done it that way. Even if they had some underhanded things, they're, they're right. I mean, and- to it. you're not just going there. <clears throat> excuse me. You're not just going there and just, um, just like you said, planting a flag. I just and I, all I can see every time, you know, when I think of the flag, I really do think of like those old, um, those old like um, Warner Brothers uh, uh, cartoons, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You know, with the red, it was the, the the duck, the black duck. But they actually had some, like, oh, yeah. where they just Bugs had like black Bugs Bugs Bugs. 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 right? I just think of those old, you know, those old uh, cartoons, and those are the type of things that they would do. And it's like, it's uh, I wish it was that simple without repercussions. <laughs> I yes, was over there right now. I mean, but <laughs> even then, like Elmer Fudd pulled out his shotgun, so it wasn't even safe. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, so no one's doing that. <laughs> that's, that's true <laughs> exactly born e allow we come together work together with the african family that's the idea and we're not going there to separate ourselves from the local population and build our own personal enclaves of just us like there's a lot more detail to this like there's things that's going to work um in the favor of african americans but overall it's still work in the favor of all the diaspora too you know, so this is just a place Definitely. where it is this the idea is just to, um it's to group up the descendants of slavery to ha- let them have their own, you know, general area and have their own have a nation because we don't have one. We That's the idea. Really. So you know, like and I think land without land. Isn't that what they say? Is it the Nigerians who say that? The, the what land without land or something? What's the saying they say? Oh gosh. They sit here all the time. Like they would say, like we're like man without land, that we have no home, that we have no home to come to. I cannot remember exactly how they would word it, but right, we don't have that, and and that's yeah. what we're trying to create, it's so that the diaspora it. has something to, to call our own, so to speak. Of course, our home. Yeah, Mama Africa is our home, but right, definitely. But yeah, so I mean, the the plan is like we said in, in the title of the video: "Don't put the cart before the horse." Like yeah. we. We uh, and those in the chat who just joined in this, we decided to do this um, based on the conference call we had the other night. 
Um, some of you that I know some of you guys were there um, and heard a lot of the questions and concerns. And it was really exciting, really empowering to hear everyone. But we noticed a lot of people um, kind of going into topics of things that, that we have so many other things to develop first before we can even dis have those discussions or really set up a plan for those. And of course, you know, Kala talking till, you know, his face turns blue <laughs> and sharing so much information that I'm like, wait, you can't, <laughs> like, you're just, you're just getting a lot, a lot more hyped about something that we can't really right. deliver on right now. So let's, let's, let's reel this in. So yeah, this is how this <laughs> came about. And, and Cal's heart is in the right place, of course. And he has that ability. And I actually was talking about this to Jonathan Hill, peace, Jay Hill. Um, that we that he has the ability to just kind of like talk and really get people excited and hyped up and into it. And it's great. It really is great. But it's just like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Like, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Like, let's be realistic. Um, right. so, so that's it. OK. You don't want to be disappointed also. You know, if it, you don't want to get ahead of ourselves because you don't want to be disappointed about the time frame and what we can really expect. Right. You know, exactly. that, that's the scary part. When we think about all these other movies that have came before us, um, you just try to really observe what went wrong, <laughs> you know, and, 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 right. um, and so that we don't make the same mistakes. And you just think about other things that we're, we're quick to mobilize, but we aren't really good at organizing sometimes because organizing takes a lot of work. Um, yeah. And it takes a, a lot of fortitude. And so sometimes, the, the you know, when we're dead hype and we're anticipating all these things, and that gives, I don't, you know, that kind of gives me the, the mobilization thing when we think of like social media. Once the hashtag is gone, then it's over with. And you want to keep the momentum by being really honest about the process and what it takes and what we really need, you know? So just that idea, it's just like, okay, take a breather. What do we really need right now, and who could help with that? You know, right. raise your hand if you're right. Exactly. Like, if, you're, exactly. if you're good with that, right? And and, and exactly. really start working on organizing. Um, our, right. Our plans that's and organizing that's stuff. the initial yeah. step. Nothing will happen if we do not organize. So that's why we stress yeah. we for the first step. And once you join, join your state chapter. Get involved yes. in your state chapter. Do meetups with those in your state chapter. Meet with the neighboring states. Um, start, you know, sharing information, doing study groups. The sky's the limit. It really is. Like, you could do whatever. I mean, as long as you're not doing anything illegal or, you know, putting your own personal agenda first, you know, we, we're all for it. Like, do do whatever. Set up what you want to help develop this. But And this is all, you know, towards our end game. But, yeah. And just to add to that real quick, what is really cool about, you mentioned study groups, like, there are people that are acquiring new skills and they have formed study groups. And I don't know if a lot of people know about that, but that is so awesome. So if you that's really cool. into yeah. um, coding before and now you're starting to get into coding and you've just matched up with, you know, you, you just linked up with a few other um, brothers and sisters who are into that and you guys are forming this, you know, they're doing it right now. You know, my husband, um, got invited to uh, join a, a, a study group, a class, to, to help sharpen his skills. And so it, it's so it's just like you were mentioning, it's just, it's, even if you don't think you have any skills that are worthy, which is never true, ever, ever, ever true, you can yeah. still acquire, you know, um, some new skills that can help in this process, you know, to help with this vision. So, yeah. And, yeah, I don't think people realize how, and, and when I say people, I mean people outside of the BAIO, like when we, Mm -hmm. talk about us like you know within the chats and everything we do shows and shows on you know other people's shows and then they realize how much information we can share with each other and are sharing with each other like the forums in certain groups i haven't joined all the groups and there's so many damn groups to join but the forums and so some of those groups i'm like damn this is some good information and it's yeah. like stuff i had nothing to i have no knowledge of whatsoever you know, in terms of engineering, especially, or, you know, contracting. But when I look at it, what they posted, I'm like, yo, this is like, this is some pretty good stuff. <laughs> and that like, yeah. you know, like you can get that information uh, pretty easily throughout these forums. You can get like, you know, additional information on stuff that you could 
that you would have to go to school to get, you know, uh -huh. go to an actual university to get that additional information. And like I said before, like I, there's one brother who shared something in the health and wellness group where it's like community health center planning. And it's mm -hmm. like literally planning the entire health center from the bottom to like the building to the ground up to the finance, everything. Now, when I went to school, they just teach you the medicine part. They don't teach you business. They don't teach yeah. you how to you know, build it. So that's just something that comes, you just do on your own. And, you know, it's like fingers crossed that it works out well and that, you know, that yeah. you're staying within, you know, the, the boundaries of whatever insurance companies that you're, <laughs> you're working with. But like the information he shared, I would have to get another degree to be yeah. able to, to, to do something with that, you know, that, to, to get that level of information. So, but he like just put the entire information up there. I'm like, oh my God. So I have a lot of studying and reading to do on what he posted. Um, Cause that links just give everything I need, but, but yeah, like, like, that like helps that you. right. And you just think about if you're partnering with people, just like you said that, you know, they didn't teach you the, the business aspect, but you know what to look for because he gave you the blueprint. Yeah. So he you gave me the whole blueprint by chapter. Right. I was like, oh my God, if you just list it in order, I don't even have, I, all I got to do is just read it and, and apply it when the time comes. So yeah, so that's that's just what it is. So if you get those who don't think they have a skill held, like you, you would be surprised. What are your interests? If your interest lines with, you know, what someone else's skills are in the BAIO, they're more than happy to share that information with you, which yeah. is what I love about, you know, the, the connecting, the amount of connecting we do on the site. Yeah. So that's... Absolutely. But yeah, so any questions from the chat room? We got a couple of people in there. Thanks for joining. But yeah, so yeah, like I said, this conversation came up because um, the phone call we had, the, the conference call we did the other night with Kala, which is really inspiring, really helpful. Um, got to hear a lot of voices, see where people's from. Um, but people just kind of got into topics where, um, you know, Edwell and I believe is just, too soon to really worry about like down the road for sure but we don't want to put too much energy and effort into that just now we just really want to focus on people connecting and you know connecting with those who do the same jobs who don't all that stuff so but yeah and, and yeah born so the the next call is and he Kala said he wants to do it every two weeks on a thursday um at night because people are off work um, it's just, you know, Friday's the next day is towards the end of the week. It just kind of works for everybody. But yeah, so two, every two weeks, maybe sooner, um, we got to make sure to get the link out to everyone so a lot more people can join. Um, I'm also going to look into programs where it can be recorded because uh, <laughs> Holop wasn't able to hear it or anything because it wasn't recorded and kind of figure out how to moderate so everyone can get their questions in. Um, and everyone was respectful as they were asking questions, but I'm sure, you know, some questions went missed and unheard just because there's just so many people in kind of trying to field who can ask the next question or ask, go first, you know, it's just, it gets difficult that way. So we're trying to get a little bit more organized so all the members can get involved and feel like their questions and get heard and answered and everything. So it's so, a so work in progress. But we are yeah, we're moving in the right direction. I really like that idea. I think that every... Um, I think every two weeks works because um, I know that with Hold Up and Kala, they're still going to post, you know, on their channel and, and a lot of things will oh, be yeah. answered there many times. You know what I mean? So um, I like Thursday. That sounds good. Yeah, Five days is usually hard for people to get on. <laughs> yeah. right, Thursdays exactly. we're still pretty committed. <laughs> we're still committed exactly. because we're still in the week. Friday, no one would get on the phone if it was Friday. Right? <laughs> if you say Friday, that may not happen. <laughs> they were already signed off. So, yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> so, so, yeah. But, yeah, so if you guys don't have any questions, this was going to keep it. We're going to keep it short today because I just was traveling a hell of a lot coming back from Atlanta. So I still got a lot of unpacking and stuff to do. And I know Holop was going to try to get on this, too. But... Um, he needed to go to sleep because I believe he works nights. So I told him, "Well, the girl just go to sleep. Don't worry about it." Because um, we started late anyway. But yeah, so. But yes, yeah, so if it didn't, no more questions, we can cut this short, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us, and for the new members, definitely take a look at the site. If you haven't 
Um, okay, I got your email and we'll call you when again. Thank you, Jonathan. All right, I'll look for your call. Well, you got my number too, so you can call me. Um, but if you haven't checked out this site, if you notice, we, uh, our Kenya members just met up today. Yay! Yeah, I'm so excited for them. I'm like, oh my God, that's so refreshing. So um, I tried to message um, Amin to tell him to put it on um, the all the photos page so you guys can take a look. But, you know, it's like we're moving in the right direction. You know, we want to make sure we're going to keep the momentum going, keep the energy going. Uh, make sure that people can get involved. And if you can't, we will find a way for you to get involved. <laughs> we don't want anyone to feel like they're idle or don't have a skill or don't have something that can't do. Of course, the sky's the limit with all of this. So, all right. I'm excited. And I'm happy that the elder was on board. So, you know, he got on. And I know you helped him a lot with that. You know, so yeah, I'm really <laughs> yeah. happy for him. You know that he's he's all you on board and stuff. Yeah, like he is so cool. <laughs> <Not> the elder. <laughs> so I, mean, I have no idea. You can see a whole discussion in the main chat room. It's so funny. Um, and yeah, those of you who don't know where the main chat room is on the Ning site, I would tell you now. So in the bottom, if you're ever on when you're on the BAIO website, in the bottom right corner there is like a light, it's a very light gray bar. It's damn near matches the background. So it's kind of hard to see. But next to the setting symbol and volume symbol, there's a, there's a bar next to that. So if you click right next to the volume, it's gonna pop up. It'll say, um, no, it's not popping up now for me. Not sure why, but was, okay. So it'll say main room um, and then you can, click on the main room button and you get to the main chat room. That way you can see all the discussions that been had for the past. I, I don't know how long it's, you can scroll back, but you can see all the discussion that was had. You can also direct message people to have more discussions. Um, but yeah, cause I realize a lot of people don't know where the chat is on our, on our site, but basically during the conference, yeah, during the conference calls, the idea is we want to use this to kind of also help field questions if we have a problem um, with doing it on the phone. So, and I know some people are not going to be on their computer during a conference call. That's okay. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's basically how we want to do it. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, definitely take a look. I know some of you guys already know. But yeah, on the you phone though, for me, I don't know if it's because like on on the on my on the my phone, phone it's probably harder to see. It's on I'm... the left, it's on the left at the top. So if oh. you notice it, um, for it's on your left hand side, on um at the top next to the um the email icon. You know, so you have like your direct message email icon. It looks like any other email icon next to it, it has like that icon shape of like um, text message, I guess you want to say, mm -hmm. it's the bad part. So I, I never, I haven't, I rarely, I'm rarely on my laptop, so I use my phone and so that's how I always get in. So just for anyone that is, you know, like me and they use, they tend to be on the website on their phone, just look at it on your top left corner, um, where near that, um, that email icon, that's where I, I get in that. Cause I haven't mm -hmm. used it yet on my laptop. Right. Well, that's good to know. I never tried to use it on the phone. Yeah. All right, family. Thank you for joining us. Peace. I will see you guys again in other chats. All right. Peace, family. <laughs> no problem. Peace, everybody. Bye.